Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Ant Pruitt, and in this video, I'm going to talk about mm, an audio tip using Premiere Pro and Audition. In particular, let's think about you putting together your vlog or whatever video that you're working on, and you have some accompanying music. The problem is the music that you're using is coming out just a little bit short, and you want it to be able to stretch over the full duration of your video. Well, Adobe Audition has a tool built right in using some good old AI or Adobe Sensei, that's their brand of it, that will help fix that and allow you to stretch your audio that you're using to go across your full composition. Now, what I've done in my, my particular project here, at least the test file that is, I just took a snippet out of a track that I like from the folks over at Panfer and I just cut it down and I want that particular, you know, bit of a of audio to just loop through the full duration of my video. So let's go ahead and hop into Premiere Pro and then we'll hop into Adobe Audition to show how we can make this AI work for us. Okay, so I'm gonna switch my screen over to let you see Premiere Pro. Okay, so this is an old video, all right? Uh, you've already seen this thing. I think it's the speaker video. Yeah, it's the Braven speaker video. But if you look down here, at this audio track. This is just a piece of um, audio that I snipped from this song from uh, Pan for Radio. It's called Bermuda Chill. If I play it over here in the source monitor, you'll hear it, okay? See, I thought that would be a nice little bit of, a, of audio to just loop over and over. And it's a whole song in here. It's, it's a lot longer than that, but I only wanted that first, you know, handful of seconds so I put an in and out point on it and dragged it down and that way I got this shorter segment showing up down here in the timeline right there but that's way too short so I mean the old style people would take this and just do an alt drag to duplicate the track like that and then they just stitch it together like this and if I play it forward right out of the it, this is just a quick video but you notice when it went to the next uh the next segment the next uh clip there there was a little bit of a jump in the beat so it sort of jars you a little bit if you're listening closely granted i wouldn't have this audio that loud but it, it's it could be noticeable by some folks so what i'm going to do is take that little bit of audio delete that clip go back to the original one and I'm gonna turn the audio down. I'm gonna turn the amplitude down just a little bit by hitting G on my keyboard for audio gain. And I'm gonna say minus 10 decibels. So that's quite a bit, but it should be good enough for underlying the voice audio up on the upper track here. So let's see. Find Sunday because I'm not doing much of anything else and I still a little too loud. So I'm gonna turn it down a little more, maybe another four decibels been really trying to get this video done but with all okay that works for this example anyway but maybe i'll put it you know let me just push it back up a touch because i probably should overdo it for you folks listening here on youtube all right so now we got the clip here we don't want to do this whole duplication thing that i showed you a second ago so what we do is we right click on it down there like that and you say edit the clip in adobe audition and what it's going to do is think about it a little bit and it's going to open it up in Adobe Audition. Now, there's a couple of things that you got to note here. Uh, again, this is using uh, artificial intelligence, so it, it may not be perfect, but it's going to get pretty close. So consider that that is using the audio artificial auto auto auto. I cannot talk artificial intelligence to get this right. And you also need to know how long you want that audio to play. So I'm gonna flip back over to um, Premiere Pro real quick. And I need this segment to be, let me see, I need to put an endpoint here since I want it to start right there. So I want it to be all the way down to here. So how long is that? So now we're back in audition and you can see we have the audio track that we pulled in from the video and you get these little properties that you can show time display and information, yada, 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 bunch of stuff you don't really need to worry about right now. What you need to do is create what's called a multi-track session. So you go up to the file menu, select new, and then select multi-track session. 
and it's going to name it something I'll just say um, stretch that's what we'll call it and we'll keep the location I'll keep it at the default right now and keep the Hertz as our yeah 40 48 should be fine 32 bit float mono is good to go click OK so that's going to open up a whole new screen here inside of audition and if you ever get confused if you look in the upper left you'll see right here it says you're in your multi-track view versus the waveform view that's what we started in so now we're in the multi-track view okay so here you have all of your files that you're working with and this is that piece of audio that we pulled in so we're just going to click and drag that over to track one and it's going to tell you hey this doesn't quite look right so just tell it yeah okay we're good to go <laughs> basically it was saying your sample rate is different from what you're trying to set up i believe this was set up as a 44 hertz uh, 44 kilohertz um sample rate i wanted a 48 kilohertz and that's all it was saying all right so we got it dragged over to the top track which is track one as you can see right there and then you look over here at this properties tab now you'll see a couple different options info basic settings stretch and remix we want to enable remix so you click that and depending on how fast your computer is it's going to think and do a little bit of processing now if you look closely here it says set a target duration and all you got to do is just type in how long you want this to be right now it is currently at 15 seconds plus we need to make this what did we say three minutes and 45 seconds so let's say 45 zero zero and it's going to think tabbed off of it and it did it that quickly now if you look a little bit closer right here you'll see these little stitch lines but let's play through it just to take a look and see see how it sounds and so far this is sounding pretty good it's not really skipping a beat yeah that was pretty seamless so that's done next thing you do you just file and then you do an export multi-track mix down entire session like that and you name it whatever you want to name it I'm going to put this somewhere random where I can find it quickly we'll put it in videos save and we'll call it stretch mix down click OK it's going to export it boom that's done and I'm just going to minimize audition I'm going to go back over here to Premiere Pro and I'm going to import that audio okay so I'm just going to say control I to import the audio go to the video folder because that's where I saved it and there it is stretch mix down click open to bring it in and there it is and I'm going to drag this over to my timeline and it should be long enough yeah it is it's a little too short but that'll work I didn't guess the timing just right but if I play through it it's going to sound fine. There's no <laughs> that extra was the case, hiccups. There's no that extra beats. But being skipped they saw that I was curious like and that. sent these on over to me for works. free. I appreciate them sending this out. But uh, yeah, what I'm talking about. Sweet. So yeah, that is it. That is how you use Adobe Auditions AI to help stretch your audio track to work within your particular video project. All right. I hope that's been helpful for you all. I appreciate you all watching. Appreciate you all subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And I appreciate you all hitting the like button. If you didn't like this video, hit the like button twice. Just show me that comment. All right. Thank you all so much. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And um, I catch you all in the next video. Y'all take care. Create and dominate.